Hello friends, welcome to our Tech Mecca YouTube channel. Warm wishes from Tech Mecca Association Group. Basically we created Tech Mecca YouTube channel for helping mechanical student to get desired job. In this channel we discussed about the mechanical interview question answers about various topics such as automobile, pump, boiler, turbine, welding, bearing etc. Please subscribe our channel like videos to inspire our effort. If you yet not subscribe the channel please click subscribe red button. And click bell icon for getting update video notification. Today we discussed about the important topics which is pump. In our previous pump video we discussed about some pump interview question. If you yet not see this video we had given a link which is found in description title box. In this video we discussed another most important 12 no pump interview question. Let's start. Question number 13. What is the difference between suction lift suction head? Answer. The inlet pressure of a pump when above atmospheric pressure is suction head. The inlet pressure of a pump when below atmospheric pressure is suction lift. Suction head is the vertical distance between sump and the center of impeller whereas suction lift is the distance between center of impeller and head against which the pump has to deliver the liquid. Question number 14. What suction pressure and discharge pressure? And, simply, the suction pressure of a pump is the absolute pressure of a fluid, measured at the inlet of the pump in your answer, the pump is the compressor, and the fluid is whatever refrigerant. The discharge pressure is the absolute pressure of the liquid measured at the outlet of the pump. Obviously, the discharge pressure is usually bigger than suction pressure. Question number 15. Where multi-stage pump used? Answer. Pressure washing of aircraft, trains, boats and road vehicles as well as spray washing of industrial parts and electronic components. Question number 16. Difference between single acting and double acting pump? Answer. In single acting machines the compression takes place on only one side of the piston. Double acting machines use both sides of the cylinder for compression. The flow is continuous in double acting and in single acting the flow is not continuous unless there is a surge vessel. Question number 17. How cavitations can be eliminated by pump? Answer. Cavitations means bubbles are forming in the liquid. To avoid cavitations, we have to increase the pump size to 1 or 2 inch. To increase the pressure of the suction head, or decrease the pump speed. Question number 18. Which pump is more efficient centrifugal pump or reciprocating pump? Answer. Centrifugal pump because flow rate is higher compared to reciprocating pump. Flow is smooth and it requires less space to install. Lower initial cost and lower maintenance cost. Question number 19. Why the centrifugal pump is called high discharge pump? Answer. Centrifugal pump is a kinetic device. The centrifugal pump uses the centrifugal force to push out the fluid. So the liquid entering the pump receives kinetic energy from the rotating impeller. The centrifugal action of the impeller accelerates the liquid to a high velocity, transferring mechanical rotational energy to the liquid. Question number 20. Why cavitations will occur in centrifugal pump and not in displacement pump? Answer. The formation of cavities or bubbles is induced by flow separation, or non-uniform flow velocities, inside a pump casing. In centrifugal pumps the eye of the pump impeller is smaller than the flow area of pipe. This decrease in flow area of pump results so pressure drop happen between pump suction and the veins of the impeller. Here air bubbles or cavities are formed because of liquid vapor due to increase in temperature in impeller. This air bubbles are transmitted to pump which forms cavitations. Question number 21. Why centrifugal pump is not called as a positive displacement type of pump? Answer. The centrifugal has varying flow depending on pressure or head, whereas the positive displacement pump has more or less constant flow regardless of pressure. Likewise viscosity is constant for positive displacement pump where centrifugal pump have up and down value because the higher viscosity liquids fill the clearances of the pump causing a higher volumetric efficiency. When there is a viscosity change in supply there is also greater loss in the system. This means change in pump flow affected by the pressure change. Question number 22. How is the excess discharge pressure prevented? Answer. 
Discharge pressure prevented by a pressurized spike cushion. Here the system employs a pressurized cushion of air in the two o-ring piston, which permanently separates this air cushion from the water system. When the valve closes and the water flow is suddenly stopped, the pressure spike pushes the piston up the arrestor chamber against the question number 23, what does a pump develop? Give reason to support your answer. Answer. Pump is a device that is used to transfer fluid from one place to another place which means it develops flow not pressure. Pressure is a measurement of the resistance to flow. Question number 24. Why centrifugal pump casing is called involutes casing? Answer is simple because it is like involutes shape. 